Hey guys, what's up? It's Trigger here. And if you're watching this video, you've been too eager with MSI Afterburner overclock settings and applied them to start on Windows Logon. And by doing that, you seem to be stuck in a vicious cycle of screen artifacts, screen freezes, and no mouse input and potentially keyboard input for you to dial back those settings. The fix is really simple, guys, and I'll highlight it here now and then explain a little bit more about it in a moment. But when you log into Windows, just immediately hold Control down. Uh, it will bypass the MSI Afterburner profile or last settings which you had applied and instead apply the graphics card's default settings. So the, when you click this, it sets the default settings. So you can see here, a somewhat eager overclock that might be causing screen artifacts for me. I've, I've saved it. I've got this button here lit up. So it's going to start MSI Afterburner and it's going to apply my profile as soon as I log in, but then I find it's freezing my screen. Hold control and that bypasses that. But now you know that, let's just dig a little bit deeper and see what's happening here. MSI Afterburner, no matter whether this is ticked or on or off, is not what depicts MSI Afterburner starting up on Windows Logon. That setting is in fact in here. Start with Windows. Okay, so MSI Afterburner will start with Windows if this tick box is ticked. Your profiles that you set or your overclock which you set here will automatically apply if you tick this box or turn this red. It depends on the theme you have, but this is a startup. And it says right here when we, when we hover over, allows applying the current voltage clock and fan control settings at Windows startup. So whatever you last had. So it's not wise to have that on if you've got really over the top overclocks. Just have it off and get into a habit of turning it on. Okay. Or know that if you do have it on all the time, if you run into trouble, the next time you boot Windows, hold control down until MSI Afterburner has started. Um, and that will, of course, give you your stock clock settings. All right. So hopefully that's been really helpful for people. There's no need to go re rebooting into safe mode and editing all sorts of shit from the command prompt. God, I've read so many things out there about how people get around this problem. And of course, I had this problem as well. Um, and then I just uh, sort of stumbled upon this. I didn't really read it anywhere, although I'm sure it's written in plenty of places on plenty of forums. Just hold control in while booting into Windows until MSI Afterburner has fired up. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. I try to get back to everyone as long as it's a, a sensible comment. Cheers.